Hi everyone. In this module, let us discuss thermodynamics, the concept of enthalpy H. Please subscribe to my channel GVS Chem. Like, share and comment on my videos. Enthalpy Delta U is the change in internal energy that is change in energy at constant temperature and constant volume it is a change in energy at constant temperature and constant volume and such a change in energy is referred as internal energy change in laboratory most of the reactions most of the reactions occur at normal pressure most of the reactions take place in open vessels open vessels means test tubes bakers etc that means most of the reactions take place at normal that is take place at normal pressure or constant pressure since reaction takes place at normal pressure and reactions take place in open vessels there may be there may be change in change in volume of the substances volume of the substances therefore energy changes energy changes occurring during such conditions what are the conditions at a constant pressure and a constant temperature may not be may not be the same as that of the energy change taking place at a constant temperature and volume as that that are taking at constant temperature and volume that means the energy changes taking place during constant pressure may not be same as that are taking at a constant volume now assume a reaction assume a reaction in gaseous state gaseous state a reaction may be taking place in a in gaseous state with the evolution of a heat evolution of heat if the system proceeds with proceeds with increase in volume if the system proceeds with uh, increase in volume increase in volume means the system has to expand that is the system has to expand when expansion takes place what uh, what happens to the work done system expands work has to be done system work has to be done by the system if if system does the work work that is work is negative that means the system has to the system has to spend some heat spend some energy the system does the work if the system has to expand it has to do some work the work done by the system is negative that means the system has to spend some energy for its expansion for its expansion therefore whatever the heat evolved the heat evolved whatever the heat evolved in this case is a little less than the heat evolved at constant volume constant volume so when the system expands if the system 
involving it. As in a reaction taking place in gaseous state with evolution of heat, if the system increases in volume, that means the system has to expand. If the system has to expand, means work should be done by the system. Work done by the system is negative. That means some energy should be spent. Right. Therefore, the heat energy released is less than the heat energy releases at a constant volume. If the reaction involves reaction involves compression. Compression means decrease in decrease in volume. Decrease in volume. That means work will be done work will be done on the system. Work will be done on the system. Work will be done on the system means energy or heat energy or heat increases increases. Therefore since during the compression some of the energy releases the heat energy heat energy released is a little higher than higher than the energy at constant volume. Therefore the heat changes heat changes heat changes at a constant temperature and constant pressure are not same not same as the changes or energy changes or heat changes heat changes at a constant volume. Therefore in this case a new thermodynamic parameter is introduced that is enthalpy. So enthalpy. Enthalpy means it is the heat content enthalpy is the heat content of the system at constant pressure and constant temperature. Enthalpy is the heat content of the system at constant temperature and constant pressure. It is not simply, it is not simply due to constant volume. It is not simply due to the change in, change due to the constant volume. So it includes it includes the change in internal energy and energy changes energy changes during expansion or contraction expansion or contraction expansion or contraction so enthalpy means enthalpy is the total heat content of the system at a constant temperature and pressure. Therefore, heat content heat content of the system at system at the constant temperature and constant pressure. So mathematically enthalpy can be expressed as enthalpy is equal to U plus W. U plus W. U means internal energy. W is the work done. So this is nothing but U plus. What is a W? It is a PV work. PV work. Enthalpy is a state function. State function. State function means it does not depend on the path of the system. Only initial. It depends on the initial stage and final stage. Initial state and final state. Enthalpy is a state function. And absolute value of enthalpy absolute value of enthalpy cannot be found absolute value of enthalpy cannot be found why enthalpy is nothing but u plus pv internal energy of the system cannot be found internal energy is the sum total of the energy of all the particles all the molecules present in the system so internal energy is the sum total of potential energy, kinetic energy and other forms of energy. 
potential energy of the molecules we cannot find therefore the absolute value of internal energy cannot be found since absolute value of internal energy cannot be found enthalpy also cannot be found only we can find so change in enthalpy change in enthalpy that is h can be found change in enthalpy can be found change in enthalpy delta h equal to change in internal energy plus change in pv work change in pv work and pv work what is this pv work pv work is nothing but p1 v1 p2 v2 that is a final change minus p1 v1 so this is a pv work so pv work can be can take place in uh, under two conditions one is at constant volume constant constant volume and at a constant pressure constant pressure in laboratories most of the reactions occur at that is 99% most of the reactions most of the reactions occur at constant pressure constant pressure that is reactions take place in open vessels so nearly 99% of the reactions take place in open vessels that is a constant pressure therefore we can take so at constant pressure means pressure is constant pressure is constant since pressure is constant we can take o equal to p since p is constant delta v p delta v p delta v significance of delta h delta u equal to q minus p delta v delta u equal to q minus p delta v so bring this to this side this q equal to delta u plus p delta v what is delta u delta u means change in internal energy change in internal energy so delta u equal to u2 minus u1 or u final u final minus u initial u final minus u initial or otherwise we can write u products minus u reactants similarly in delta h concept delta h means it is nothing but the heat content of the substance at constant pressure and constant volume so delta h concept delta h is the heat content at constant volume constant temperature and constant pressure constant pressure so in p delta v p delta v p is constant p is constant and delta v is the change change from initial to final initial to initial to final therefore delta v equal to v2 minus v1 or v final minus v initial now let us substitute all these things here q equal to delta u my plus <coughs> p delta v this is a u final minus u initial plus p into v final minus v initial now let us rearrange this u final plus p into v final minus u initial my so this is a minus p v i so this is nothing but u final plus p v f minus take out as common factor u initial plus p v initial now this is nothing but what is delta h delta h is nothing but uh, internal energy plus uh, pv work so this is nothing but uh, h final uf plus pvf is nothing but h plus minus this is uh, h initial h initial this is nothing but uh, q 
therefore so q equal to h final minus h initial so h final minus h initial means h initial means this is delta h so this is q so this uh, delta h is obtained at constant pressure therefore delta h is the heat content heat content at constant constant pressure and temperature therefore this is a qp qp equal to delta h qp equal to delta h on the other hand we have already studied qv equal to delta u therefore therefore delta u means delta u is the heat content heat content at constant temperature and volume constant volume delta h is the heat content heat content at constant temperature and pressure therefore this is a delta u equal to q v delta h equal to q p so this is a important points which you have to keep in mind now let us do a small problem calculate delta h for the reaction given at constant temperature that is 298 kelvin nh4 cl aqueous plus na no2 solid use nacl solid water liquid and nitrogen gas so a change in internal energy is given as 332 kJ so equation for the reaction is nh4cl aqueous plus nanya2 solid gives nacl solid water liquid and nitrogen gas now we have the formula for delta h delta h equal to delta u plus p delta v here p and volume are not given pressure and volume are not given pressure and volume are not given as pressure and volume are not given how do we find the solution for this problem see we know that gas equation is gas equation is pv equal to nrt pv equal to nrt the product of pressure and volume is nrt nrt means n is the number of moles r is the gas constant and t is the temperature since it is a gas equation we have to take the number of moles of gaseous substances only so since it is since it is gas equation we have to take we have to take number of moles of number of moles of gaseous substances gaseous substances so here so here p v p equal to n p r t v p means volume of gaseous products here n p means number of moles of a gaseous reactants so n p is number of moles of gaseous products gaseous products similarly in the same manner p v r equal to n r r t v r means volume of the gaseous reactants n r is the number of moles of uh, gaseous reactants so p delta v is nothing but p into v p minus v r v p means uh, volume of gaseous products minus volume of gaseous reactants therefore which is equal to this is nothing but nrt nrt means n number of moles of number of moles of nr np rt minus nr rt so this is nothing but np minus nr into rt therefore this is this is nothing but delta n g g means number of moles of gaseous substances gaseous substances that is reactants and products are taken together therefore this is rt 
therefore p delta v is equal to delta ng rt now substitute this value here in a delta e equation therefore therefore delta h is equal to delta u plus delta ng rt now in the equation number of moles of number of moles of gaseous products number of moles of gaseous products that is np so here number of moles of gaseous products only nitrogen is the remaining two are that sodium chloride is solid and water is a liquid therefore number of moles of gaseous products is only one and on the other hand number of moles of reactants this is aqueous condition and this is a solid therefore number of moles of gaseous reactants is zero therefore therefore number of moles of gaseous reactants gaseous reactants nr equal to zero therefore delta ng equal to np minus nr np is 1 1 minus 0 equal to 0 therefore delta h equal to delta u plus delta ng rt delta ng therefore delta u equal to delta u how much is given 332 kilojoules plus delta ng 1 into R value. So R must be taken in the joules, 8.314 joule liter atmosphere into temperature. What is the temperature given? 298 Kelvin. 298 K. So this is nothing but minus 332 plus 8.314 into 298 joule. So if we multiply this, we get. So if we multiply this value, we get minus 332 kilojoule plus this is 2477.5 joule this is nothing but minus 332 kilojoule plus 2.4747 kilojoule so this is minus this is minus and this is plus therefore if you calculate this so this we get minus 329.52 kilojoule so this is the answer so in this way, even the present volume are not given, just by seeing the physical state of the substances, we can find the delta H, that is delta H equal to delta U plus delta NG, delta NG means difference in number of gaseous moles of products and reactants, different cases, different cases for delta G. So, if delta Ng is equal to 0, delta Ng is equal to 0 means number of gaseous products of, number of moles of gaseous products minus number of moles of gaseous reactants. Therefore, in such case, delta H is equal to delta U plus delta Ng RT. So, delta H is equal to delta U plus this becomes 0. This implies delta H is equal to delta U. So, when gaseous products and products of gaseous moles of products and gaseous moles of reactants are same, then we get delta H and delta U both are same. On the other hand, on the other hand, delta Ng is equal to is less than zero. Less than zero means delta H delta number of moles of gaseous products is less than number of moles of uh, gaseous reactants that is negative value so it is negative value therefore delta h is equal to delta u minus delta ng rt right since we are subtracting a certain quantity from delta u to get delta h therefore delta h is less than 
delta h is less than delta u so if uh, delta h is uh, negative value then delta h is less than delta u. if uh, if delta ng is greater than 0 delta ng is greater than 0 means that number of moles of uh, gaseous products is greater than number of moles of gaseous reactants then it is a positive value positive value means one or more so in such case delta h is equal to delta u plus delta ngrt since it is positive here we get positive value therefore when something is added to delta u we are getting delta h therefore delta h is greater than delta u so these are the conditions for uh, conditions to calculate delta ng and ultimately we can find delta hg by using the formula delta u plus p delta v please subscribe my channel like share and comment my videos thank you